Well, you know about Sir Gary and the three W's, but I know you're wondering, what else does this tiny cricketing nation have to offer? Well, wh where shall I start? We've got quite a history. I see Claimed by the Spanish and Portuguese in the 1500s, and then settled by the English in 1627, Barbados finally gained independence in 1966, and boasts one of the oldest parliaments in the Western Hemisphere. In 2011, UNESCO inscribed historic Bridgetown and its garrison on its World Heritage List. Within this designated area, you'll find the Jewish Synagogue and Nitti Museum, one of the oldest in the Western Hemisphere. There's also George Washington House, where the first president of the US stayed on an early visit to the island. You'll also find St. Anne's Fort, the old barracks, now home to the Barbados Museum and Historical Society, and the world's rarest canon collection. Such gems of our past, each comes with its own intriguing tale. I won't tell you all, but should you venture to Christchurch Parish Church, be sure to ask about the Chase Bowl. Yes, we've got a compelling history, and there's so much more to experience. Our 166 square miles are packed with more to do per square mile than any other country in the region. Ever heard of the eighth wonder of the world? Well, this is it. Opened in 1981, this breathtaking stream and cave network is 2.3 kilometers long, with its largest cavern being 50 feet high. The stalagmites make amazing formations. Indeed, one resembles a crowd of villagers in ancient times. The animal flower cave at the northern tip of the island doesn't have these formations, but offers a close view of sea anemones right at your feet and a captivating vista of the ocean from both inside the cave and on the above cliff. There are many other vantage points that offer picture-perfect vistas worth words to win your heart and make those back home jealous. Some totally off the beaten path, but we know that the railway to one's heart is through one's stomach. So let's talk cuisine. From exclusive Zagat rated restaurants to rustic beach shacks serving up real grassroots Bajan delicacies and lessons in local dialect, there's a flavor here for every taste. And if you really want to let your hair down with the locals, drop in for a game of dominoes and libations at a rum shop, one on every corner next to a church. Or check out Oystins on Friday night for the best fish dinners and music. When you think about the people, they are very, very courteous. Their whole uh, mannerism, how they go about life, you know, they, they tend to, you know, be very easygoing and, and always willing to entertain you and also have fun and so forth. So I think, I think it's the place. I think that's probably why the tourists like Barbados so much. I think Barbados is so special because of the people. I think the people make this place. And it's a place where you can come and relax and you know you're not going to have any lot of problems. You can walk down the streets, you can go wherever you want to, and you can be assured that you're going to be well looked after. I come here every day, but I don't think there's a course where the conditions are as consistently good as this. You know, Barbados has really, start, has really started to look up for itself and to start to produce a hell of a lot for people to come and see and be happy in. You can find me at Oysters on Friday nights. In any one of the stores, there's no eating and drinking, and, and I'm at home. Come there's on. no place like this. And when I say there's no place like this, there's no place like Barbados, and I've gone all over. You can sit down and relax and have a drink, and you, nobody bothers you, nobody confuses you. And speaking of culinary expeditions, you've got to be here to experience the Barbados Food, Wine and Rum Festival, which features international celebrity chefs and our award-winning culinary practitioners all in one weekend. I can tell you're most watering already. Opportunities to mingle with the locals and soak up our culture and heritage are in, but you'll really get a taste of Barbadiana in all its glory at Crop Over, our premier festival and absolute must-do. It's an explosion of music, of colour, of artistry, of aromas, culminating in an amazing street party. And if you're on the island early in the year, 
you can take in our other national festivals, including the Voltan Festival and the Oystins Fish Festival in Easter. Just check out these skilled fish boners. Ah, fancy a climb on the greasy pole? But let's talk serious sport. Barbados is home to many internationally renowned events. The Sandy Lane Gold Cup, the Mount Gay Regatta, several motorsport events, polo, football, and of course, international cricket. Barbados has been the destination choice for a number of county cricket teams and their supporters for pre-season training. Teams have included Hampshire, Warwickshire, Northamptonshire, Nottinghamshire, Essex and Derbyshire, to mention a few. With no shortage of first-class cricket grounds available and overall top-notch cricketing facilities, Barbados is an excellent choice for cricketing enthusiasts. Our annual Sir Garfield Sobers Cricket Tournament attracts a number of schools from the Caribbean and all across the globe, including the UK, Canada and even as far as South Africa. The likes of Alistair Cook, Brian Lara, Shibnara and Chandapal have all benefited from playing in this showpiece event for emergent young players. Privately arranged tours bring schools and cricket clubs flocking to the island year-round to pit their skills against some of the very best talent in the region. These aren't just limited to cricket, but also spread across a diverse range of sporting activities, including netball, hockey, badminton, volleyball, and, for the more passive, darts and dominoes and bridge. And I'm sure you cricketing aficionados remember that in 2007, the final of the World Cup, and in 2011, the final of the World 2020 tournament, were hosted right here at the famous Kensington Oval. We've hosted British Airways Football Legends Invitational with teams including Arsenal, Chelsea, Manchester United and Tottenham Hotspur, featuring some of the sport's greatest players. Robert De Matteo, Gianfranco Zola, Dwight York and Yari Litmanin. I'm telling you, there's never a dull moment in this island. It is testimony to our great sporting heritage. But if, on your visit here, all you want to do is stretch out and do a lot of nothing, we've got plenty of places to do that too. Our lavish exotic spas offer you ultimate relaxation. And did I mention the beach? Sea, sun and sand are what we are famous for. Besides Sir Gary and international superstar Rihanna, of course. It's no wonder that from families to international rock stars make Barbados their home away from home. The culture, the heritage, the beaches, the sport, the luxury duty-free shopping, the food, mm, the food, all wrapped up in a perennial summer. Now, if you're talking ultimate paradise, how's that? Now, how do you get here? There are daily flights to Barbados from major international gateways in the UK, the USA, Canada, and the Caribbean. These carriers include British Airways, Virgin Atlantic, Condor, American Airlines, JetBlue, Delta, Air Canada and WestJet, Caribbean Airlines and Lear. Accommodation options are limitless, from luxury hotels and villas to more affordable choices, many in practical proximity to banks, hospitals, supermarkets and shopping malls. So now you know a little something about what Barbados has to offer, what are you waiting for? Pack your sunblock, your flip-flops and your cricket gear of course, as you prepare for the sporting experience of a lifetime. We look forward to seeing you in Barbados soon. Mm -hmm.